back to my channel. It's Simran Kitten here. Welcome back to another apartment speed build. So, I got the bowling night stuff pack last night. Well, I bought it <laughs> because I didn't get an early copy. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I bought it. And obviously, well, like I've said before, I'm not super excited for this pack just for the gameplay. I think we could have had like 20 other stuff packs that people actually wanted rather than bowling. So it's a bit odd in my opinion, but I don't hate it. I love a lot of the cast items and I love the build and buy items that can be used in other like in like like residential lots like a lot of them are just like bowling stuff that you can't really put in a house but the stuff that you can put in a house I love it it's like this mid-century modern kind of style very retro in my opinion so today we're building a retro apartment using all the new stuff from sims 4 bowling night stuff pack so I'm very excited and I love this apartment and I love building when I actually love what I'm building if that makes sense and I built this all in one go last night it took me like a bit over two hours to build this and it's in the it's in the apartment that the Jang Yang family lives in <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the last name I think it's in the arts quarter if I'm not mistaken I could be but it's in the Hakim Hakim house apartments and yeah this is where they live and but I haven't built in here for ages. I don't know if I've ever posted a video in this apartment probably have but I can't remember I thought I never built posted a video in the huge apartments in Uptown where Diego lives or the one next to that one and then I realized I did post one I posted the glam vintage glamour apartment was in one of those huge apartments so I've done like every apartment that I can't just I just can't remember so we're building there and I thought this was the perfect lot because I wanted to add multiple bedrooms in here and I wanted to be kind of big because I wanted to build huge with this red row because I was so excited with this new stuff look at that huge wall sign arrow with the lights on it so cool and it just takes so much wall space which is what I love because I always have empty walls everywhere and I hate it so I love it and this is a, like the couch area <laughs> sitting lounge area it's like right where you come in these are the new couches from the new stuff pack these side tables are from the stuff pack the rug is those little lounge chairs by the door are from the stuff pack i put two tvs here it's kind of weird it's really weird because like who's gonna watch two tvs at the same time no idea but i wanted to have tvs in here but i also wanted to use this setup so i put two tvs facing different ways because why not and you got a, a stereo in there as well and the like gaming console and this side table is from the stuff pack everything is and this apartment is so colorful and i really love it and like i said it's just so much fun building when you love what you're building and i think this turned out so great it's just it's so much fun i love the colors that came from the new items the like light blue and this orange i thought they went really well together and that's kind of the color scheme we went with for this open living area for the bedrooms i like wanted to make them look different more personal to the sim so we the, the so the same theme doesn't like carry through the whole apartment like th through all the bedrooms you're gonna see but I love the bedrooms as well but they're maybe a little bit less retro than this living area but I think it's so cool I think it turned out really really nice and I love it and when I was building this I found so many items that we already had in the game that I was like oh my gosh this totally matches the theme this is so retro like how did I not see this before and I'm like did the sims team always know they were gonna bring out this this kind of stuff pack with this like mid-century modern theme that's really retro and then like put a little like some items in previous packs and that they thought would go well with this because that's what I thought because I found some great items that I thought were went really great with this and like some wallpapers from the base game that I've never used like the one we put on the opposite wall where the huge wall sign was that there on the left I've never used that wallpaper because it's ridiculous but I thought it went so great here like so much fun I just thought it was perfect for this place. If I was going to use it if anywhere, this was the place to use it. And the kitchen is blue and yellow. I wish we had more colorful cabinets because we don't. We just have the basic ones, which is what I usually use. But when I want colorful, I wish we had more options, but that's okay. I like the kitchen as well. It's kind of in the corner and then you have the huge dining table there as well. This furniture also makes me think of Ikea a little bit. <laughs> is that just me? I don't know. But I like that the there's also like some almost white swatches as well because that's always very handy. And I was using so many different wallpapers here. I was trying like a 
gazillion different ones, trying to find really fun ones that would like bring this apartment to life and just give it so much more color. And I think it turned out so cool. I hope you guys love it as well because I love it so much. <laughs> and I went on to make this little bubble blower area in the corner in here as well because I thought it suited the theme as well. And I had some extra space and I didn't really know what to put in there. So we went with the bubble blower or whatever you want to call it. I think that's what the Sims team called it. <laughs> I also put the rainbow doors if you missed them. I haven't used those in a build yet. They came with a toddler update. And I think they're so much fun. Like, come on, it's rainbow doors. So I had to use them. Also, I've been getting some comments lately that people don't appreciate when I make girls' rooms very girly. Honestly, I do that because I love that style. I'm a very, very girly girl. I love pink and, you know, all that girly stuff. So I'm not trying to offend anyone. I know not all girls love pink and stuff like that like a girl could be like a freaking wrestler if, if she wants to you know i'm not trying to be like make anyone upset <laughs> so i'm just gonna say this apartment all three of these bedrooms can be for a boy or a girl or a girl or a guy i don't care honestly i didn't like have a sim in mind when making these i just made something that i thought looked good and matched the house so they can be for a girl or a guy so <laughs> Don't judge me, don't call me sexist or anything because I'm not, honestly, like, I'm the least sexist person person <laughs> that I know. But anyway, yeah, one of the one of the rooms is, like, like a little bit more feminine than the other two. I don't know. I, that's just the problem because I really love girly stuff and feminine stuff and that's my style, which is why I built that and I like building it. So, just that's just what I'm going to go with. So, I tend to make rooms and stuff, houses look more feminine because I'm a woman. So... <laughs> That's not like a huge surprise, so sorry, but these rooms can definitely be for a guy or a girl. That's all I'm gonna say. And I really wanted to use this new item, this little shelf thing as a bed. What is it called? Like a headboard, but it wasn't working with any of the beds because like you could you could see the headboard through that. So I ended up not using it. But I really wanted to, it would have been so cool, but I couldn't do it. I think it's like it's not really a shelf because you can't place anything on top of it. I did use it as a shelf in one of the bedrooms. I lifted things up on top of it, but I think it's just like a room divider or just like a decor piece, which is a bit disappointing. I wish it was a shelf, but oh well. For this room, which is the first bedroom we're doing, I went with purple flooring because why not? Like I said before, this is the apartment that I did crazy things with. I was ever going to do anything crazy with colors or anything like that. This was the apartment for it, so we went a bit crazy. This bedroom is going to be purple and yellow. I think I've used that color scheme before, actually, and it would turn out quite cool. So I like this bedroom. It has a lot of flowers in it. It has a lot of paintings on the wall, on the brick wall as well. It looks really cool. I like it. And it has a guitar and a bookshelf and a little lounge chair. So I don't really know what kind of sim would love, love live here. <laughs> you decide. I'm not gonna create the sims who live in this apartment i thought it would be kind of fun but i want to get an apartment built out today so we're gonna post this today but i don't know if you have any suggestions tell me down below but i definitely did design this for like roommates it's not really a family apartment you could like turn it into one if you just turn one of these rooms into a child's room i guess but i designed it more for roommates girls or guys doesn't matter honestly they go who for whoever you want and yeah this room has like flower pots on the on the like floor because why not i thought that's kind of funky and cool and we have a huge flower rug in here as well so this is kind of the flower room i guess not that that makes it girly a guy can have a flower room okay in my opinion so that's fine and i love those uh curtains from city living as well i think they have some really cool swatches that go with the retro theme really well as well we only have one bathroom in here which is maybe a bit problematic but i thought it was fine i did the thing again where i kind of separated the shower area and the toilet area from like the other bathroom area i said area a lot in that sentence so that like one person can be on the toilet and one person can be taking a shower or one person can be doing their hair in the mirror by the sink at the same time like if they were actually like roommates living together without the other people being bothered and here someone downloaded like every single thing i've ever uploaded to the gallery so thank you to that person that was very sweet not sure why but maybe they just downloaded all the apartments it was funny it was just popping up so many times that someone downloaded something so i assume it's the same person because it was all in a row 
So moving on to this bedroom, there's gonna be like a brown slash red bedroom, a little bit. <laughs> it's not as retro as the other two. I think I toned it down a little bit. I wanted to use these new wall items in this room, like wall decals, but they didn't really go. But I did want to use this painting or this poster as well because I thought it was very retro with the different colors. So this bedroom is gonna have this really nice bed from City Living that I love that has a really cool bed frame around it and the curtains and then a computer and a dresser and that's about this room. So this is the only room that has a computer. So Maybe someone really smart lives here or someone who loves to game, who knows? <laughs> or make videos, someone. If you guys wanna make the Sims for this apartment, I would love to see. And you could tweet me pictures of those Sims. I would really, really love that. So if you are inspired by this apartment to create some Sims, you can tweet me at SimmerKittenYT, that's my Twitter username. I would love to see, that would be such a cool thing. I've never seen anyone do that before, so. I mean, for me, so <laughs> I would love that. Uh, we put a lot of flowers in here too, just because I thought it's kind of suited this whole apartment and looked really nice as well. And we're using some base game curtains as well, because why not? And that mirror, I think is base game as well. And I put some flowers on top of the bed as well, because I thought it looked cool. And moving on to the last bedroom, but then I realized we have these cool neon wall signs. Why am I not using them? They're super retro, so I put some in the kitchen and in the living area. But the last bedroom is gonna be also kind of red and yellow and black. I don't really know, but it has like some gym gear in there, so and some like trophies and some sports gear and like the new like trophy cabinet from the bowling stuff bowling night stuff pack because maybe someone who loves bowling lives here not a guy necessarily okay just because he's always feminine doesn't mean it can't be for a girl and i'm using these what where did those come from oh my gosh maybe from city living i don't know but those like signs it's kind of like a wall pattern headboard there and i thought that looked really cool and i'm using that bit again from city living because i just liked it and it has really cool swatches so we're using that and we have this crazy flooring in here but i decided to change it because i wanted to put a huge red rug no not red yellow rug in here that i wanted to use in the kitchen but it didn't really suit there so we're putting it in this bedroom this one in yellow with the yellow polka dots or white polka dots on yellow background because i thought that was really retro and really cool so we changed the floor to black i guess is that black or dark brown i don't even know but this is where we're using this little item as like a little shelf so you've got a little tablet in there and i think i put some candles and a bowling pin and a basketball on top of there as well so someone athletic definitely lives in that bathroom and then i was like no i forgot to put in a jukebox what item in the game is more retro than a jukebox so i had to go and change that and put that in there i love it like oh i wish i had a jukebox that's so cool i don't even know if i've ever seen a jukebox in real life maybe in some like pub or something i don't know but very cool. I had to put that in there because when I was like deciding that I was gonna build this apartment, I was thinking, remember the jukebox, and then I almost forgot. So I'm very glad I put that in there. But yeah, like I said before, I didn't want to build a bowling alley, and I'm not going to build a bowling alley because that's too basic. <laughs> Everyone's building bowling alleys, and I'm just not inspired. So I wanted to build something else with the new stuff pack. So I decided to build this apartment, and I hope you guys really love it as much as I do because I think it's very cool. <laughs> it's just such a cool apartment. I love this. I love this style. It's very cool. I might build more houses or apartments like this. So if you like this, tell me down in the comments and give me suggestions what other stuff I could build with the bowling stuff pack that isn't like bowling necessarily because no bowling alleys okay and i'm not gonna build like i don't even know what other things that's the pro that's like the problem that i have with this pack it makes you build one thing only like okay i'm building an apartment but i could only use about 10 of the like 40 items in here i don't know how many items there are but there was only about 10 items that kind of suited apartments as well, so that was a little bit disappointing, which is why I'm not so, such a huge fan of this pack, but I do love the items that we do get that are good for residential lots, like I said. But yeah, like Vintage Glamour stuff pack, you could build so many different things, like Victorian houses, cool glam apartments, like anything really, like a mall, a restaurant, but with a bowling stuff pack, what can you build that isn't a bowling alley? I don't really know. Maybe I'm just like really on not creative enough or something but that's just me so if you have any ideas tell me down in the comments and i'll see if i want to build them but 
tomorrow I think I'm gonna post a really 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 fun tiny makeover it's it's so much fun oh my gosh I loved editing it it's it's a really fun one so come back tomorrow for a new tiny makeover that is hilarious you guys might guess who it is by me saying that it's hilarious but it's really funny so I'm just telling myself I'm funny now but come back tomorrow and you get to see it I think it's a good one so that's coming out tomorrow and this weekend I have another apartment pre-built I might post that I don't know he, give me your suggestions and ideas for videos down below tomorrow is my last day of work <laughs> Woo! in this current job and my new job isn't gonna start just yet so I have time to record and focus on series on my channel maybe even a new let's play I don't know who knows I want to make some machinimas I have so many new ideas I want to test if my computer can run some mods as well not sure if it can but we're gonna test it out so we can add more diversity to my channel and my let's play so i'm very very excited for that one so if you aren't subscribed yet by the way you should definitely subscribe as well because lots more new great content will be coming out next month and i'm so excited i love doing youtube i love playing the sims and it's just great that i get to do it and you guys actually enjoy watching my content so it just makes me really really happy and just yeah that's just what I wanted to say. We're closing in on 4,000 subscribers. Okay, not yet. We're like 200 away, but you guys are coming out of nowhere so far. So I'm really happy with the way my channel is growing. It just makes me so grateful. So thank you, everyone. We're <laughs> I need to make some kind of special video at 5K or 10K at least. So leave me your build suggestions down below because I could build something cool. No face reveal just yet, but some cool build ideas definitely open to those that I could do as like a special some kind of K subscriber video. <laughs> I don't know yet, but anyways. That was the bathroom for you all. Didn't really know what kind of tiles I wanted to put in here, so it was a little bit of a mess. I mean, I think it turned out pretty nice in the end. We put some paintings in there and the cool eye toilet <laughs> from City Living and that kind of retro shower uh, bathtub with the weird shower curtain. But yeah, that's the apartment done. Here are the screenshots now. There is plenty of them because I love this place so much. I hope you guys liked it too. If you want to download it, it is on the gallery already. You can find it under my origin username, which is SimmerKittenYT, or under the hashtag SimmerKitten. I just called it Retro Apartment, which is probably what I'm going to call this video as well. So I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And leave all your build ideas down below or any other video ideas you might have. I love reading your guys' comments and replying to all of them. So that's like one of my favorite things to do. So thank you so much, everyone who has subscribed so far. If you haven't, subscribe. New content coming out soon awesome content so i'm very excited anyways i hope you guys are having a super awesome day thank you again so much for watching and i will see you again tomorrow for the really really fun townie makeover okay bye bye